to, yeah, pretty much, like, please yourself, be, like, nice. Okay, but what about if you're not nice? Then... Are you pretending? Tell me some of the words inside of your moon. Selfishness. Is that what you think it is? Mm -hmm. If you're not nice, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me your story, honey. Okay, so the inner voice is... Uh -huh. um, so that's like on the inside, like what, you, like that no one really like gets to like see or feel of you or hear. And then the thunderbolt is like on the outside when someone really fires you up, and that's the part, that's the side of you no one wants to see. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, mine is the master and going with the flow. Um, I'm going to interpret this because this happens to be cosmic, you know, motor cosmic therapy is my show, so I can say what I want to say and make it fit the hour. I'm kidding. Um, the only time that you are a master in your life is when you go with the flow. Now, in this particular segment of what we've just done, where's this card? Y'all still have it? This is yours, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? You still have it. Yeah. Give it back to me. Okay, turn your page. All right, there you go. Can you see, honey? You got your glasses? Mm -hmm. Okay. These Just tenses, past, present, and future, are not the tenses of time, they're the tenses of the mind. That which is no longer before the mind becomes the past, that which is before the mind is the present, and that which is going to be before the mind is the future. Okay, stop. So we have past, present, and future. This is, I'm telling you, it's all tied together. It seems like as if, you know, the other shows were right here, together, because we can't separate them. You know what I mean? It's just an endless flow of the same type of themes that are going on in your life, in her life, in her life, and in my life. Okay, Daisy? Just You just have to do one sentence if you don't want to do more than that. Okay, the moment you start seeing life as non-serious, a playfulness, all the burden on your heart disappears. What did that just say, honey? That the moment you stop taking things seriously, you feel free, more open. Wow, okay. So you're going to write on your paper free and open, and you were going to put past, present, and future. Okay. Here you go, sweetie. Just, you know, that first sentence. Okay. Um, we are miserable because we are too much in the self. <gasps> Talk to me, Brittany. Read that again. We are miserable because we are too much in the self. Okay. What does that mean to you, honey? Um, like, all, we're, mi like, we're not, like, nowadays, like, you're so in, like, to yourself, and you're so, like, so confident, but you're miserable because you're overconfident. Ah. Okay. So a little bit of the pretense is coming in, of daisies. Is that what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. And I'm hearing, too, with you saying that, if people perceive you, if they think of you as being so confident, then you tell yourself you've got to keep on showing that. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And you couldn't possibly ever, you know, not be confident. Mm -hmm. And that puts a burden on you? Yeah. All right, give it back to me. All right. On your paper, wherever you have those words, give me back those cards. We're going to do something else. Draw three lines. Any way you want to draw them. Any way you want to draw them. Got them? Two circles. Three triangles. The first letter of your first name. All right, connect the lines. Make it one cons consistent. Connect all of your lines. Leave no 
object on that paper untouched. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Got him? Here, go ahead. You have two colors to color, two shades of color. Let me see the sweetie bee. Here. <laughs> Go ahead, color them fast. I don't know if it's very fun for the people at home to watch us color. <laughs> yes, it is. There are times so. in your life that you wait while other people are conducting Coloring. whatever activities they have at the moment. The whole thing. I have two different colors, though. Okay. Here, Daisy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Some very artistic creations going on there. We just sit here. And wait, I heard that Gemini in that aquarium. She's saying, oh my goodness sakes. We are just sitting here and doing nothing that is constructive. We're bored out of our minds. This is not any entertaining or educational, all the other shows. She talks and she teaches this time. It just doesn't make one bit of sense to her logical mind. Yes. They want some answers. We all want answers. Okay, Daisy, hold your picture up. <laughs> Look at that picture. Look what she has created without thinking about what she was doing, without having any idea of what she would end up with. Now, where was your paper, honey? Get, give me back your paper. I did a little teeny strip of paper. Oh. Read it. When someone acts badly in your presence, what has that to do with you? Okay, now go back to where your moon was at. And give me all the words that you've written on that page. And start with your name. Daisy. Mm -hmm. Selfishness. The Rebel. Possibilities. Saturn. Tired. Thunderbolt. Yes. Pretense. <laughs> Inner Voice, and Alexander the Great. Wow. Okay, now turn me, t show me the picture again. And what's two words on, those, on that paper? Free and open. Tell me about that. Now you've just created that. That did not exist in this world until you created it. So anything that you say about it is going to be true. It cannot necessarily be verified, but that does not mean it's not true. See, we can't verify God, but it doesn't make God any less true. So tell me about what you have drawn based on those words you just said. We can start with Alexander the Great. How did he use that? Well, he was very open to like his society, what the where he ruled. Okay. And. So we, he made various people feel free to do anything. Well, not anything, but most stuff in the society. Oh, okay. And if you had that object today, what would you do with it? 
What could you do with that? Um, play with it. Okay. And how, I mean, what would it do? What are some of the things it could do? It can... It can do anything. It's a karaoke machine <laughs> that can fly and what? has wheels. And it's spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> Love it! <laughs> wow! And what is the song that's playing on it? Um... Kiss You by One Direction. Kiss You by One Direction. Give me a line out of there, honey. Okay, um, 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 hold on, sorry, um, you can get, get anything that you want, baby, just shout it out, shout it out. Wow, that is so true, Daisy. Now I want you to look in that camera and say that. Say that to every person that is watching you today, that is almost 13 years old, like you are. Say that same thing again. You can get, get anything that you want. Baby, just shout it out. Shout it out. Okay, so shout it out. You can get anything you want. Say it, shout it. You can get, get anything that you want. <laughs> Baby, just shout it out. Shout it out. That's right. Okay, now moving on to you, Brittany. Now, did I have you read those words first before I told you to... Okay, turn back to your page, sweetie, and tell me your words. Um, yes, 13 Ghosts, The Master, Brittany, Thunderbolt, Inner Voice, Power, Tired, Commitment. Wow, they're beautiful, honey. That makes me cry because that's so deep. Okay, show me your, show the viewing audience your creation that you created during this time with no, oh, wow, that is gorgeous, honey. Now tell me what that is about. And I'm going to, like I did her, so I chose um, Alexander the Great out of her words. I'm choosing the master out of yours. So how does that reflect a master? What, does, what can he do with that? Or what is that? Because it can be anything. It's um, it's the master's kingdom. Oh, okay. Well, describe it to me. It isn't that big, but mm. it has a lot. He has enough space, and wow. it has. It's colorful. Wow. So he has enough space. So if we have enough space, that's enough. Mm -hmm. We don't need a lot. Is that what I'm hearing you say? In order to be a master? I think with mine it was um, going with the flow. And guess what? Mine, I've got written down here, going with the flow incorporates sorrow. But we don't think that. You know, jumper. Jumper, yes. Sorrow. Tori talked about at the beginning of the show how chaos reveals to us completeness. Yes? I, I have trouble with the chaos. Right, you do. And now you're getting ready to tell me why. Because, tell me all the words. The truth stands, the rest falls away. Restless Queen Antoinette. Sorrow, New Vision, Thunderbolt. Okay. And show your creation. All right, and that is Antoinette's object. Hmm. What is it and what does she do with it? It's a catapult and she uses it to catapult herself into the future. Why? Because she can, it's a time traveler. Wow, okay, very good. Now this show has been different from the ordinary shows that I, what is ordinary about my show? I want to ask you. Okay, it appears that everybody's been doing their own thing and none of these things are related. Doesn't it? Go back to your paper. What is your paper, honey? Abandon the false sense of goodness about yourself so easily identify with. Right, so if I was sitting here on this show 
for this hour and thinking, oh no, what are the people in television land thinking about what I'm doing? And all these young people sitting here and they can't see them drawing and, and having whatever thoughts they're having. That would mean that I was concerned about how I was being perceived. Right? But I'm not. And that's the whole point. That is the whole point of mode of cosmic therapy is for you to get in touch with you and whatever you are doing if it seems uncomfortable for you because you're battling with that person that's on your back. Now give me that back toy. What did I say? Well it depends because it depends on the person that's on your back. If this is not something that's comfortable to you because you don't enjoy it, that's different than not being comfortable because you're worried about somebody else. Okay. And so would you use your machine to catapult you from the present moment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would. Okay. Yours, honey. Read it. When someone acts badly in your presence, what has that to do with you? All right. Give it back to me again. When someone acts badly in your presence, what has that to do with you? Now, what would Alexander the Great do with your... Um, Spray painting, what was that thing? I, I remember oh. spray painting. Karaoke machine. Yeah, what would he do? If somebody was acting bad in his presence, how would he use a spray painting karaoke machine to resolve the situation? Well, he would make them sing <laughs> and then spray paint their body. <laughs> wow, so they would laugh. Mm -hmm. So he would take something that was bad or it appeared bad, and turn it into something good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tori, what's your paper? Past, present, and future. The little paper. Oh. What's yours? In utter chaos, are you ruthlessly made <laughs> complete? <laughs> Would you define this as chaos? Absolutely. <laughs> And how are you being made complete? Because sometimes what this was about was revealing something that you cannot see if you keep it hidden or you keep an idea. Because each one of these girls would have less of an inhibition of trying to make an impression than you or I. Right? Now give that back to me. Because you said children don't 